this JavaScript project, we're going to be creating a basic message app over here. So you can see that over here, this is the message that we're going to deliver, right? And this is what we're going to write. So over here, I'm just going to say hello there. Over here, and coding, coding addict over here. Then once we press over here, you can see the message is going to appear over here. And if we want to clear it, right, you can see that everything becomes clear. And for the logic, we're going to be using a vanilla JavaScript. Go over here to our setup, right? You can see that I have index.html. This is very basic. This is English over here. The title, I'm going to say this is going to be message app over here. And in the head, we're going to just link it right to our main CSS. I'm going to say link. And this is going to be over here, main CSS. Then over here in the script, I have a jQuery. And over here, I'm just going to say this is going to be script over here. And we're going to link it to our main, uh, main, our script JS, right? So over here, it's going to be source. And we're going to say this is going to be script JS, right? So now that we have all this done, first things first, we're going to create our HTML, right? So I'm going to say heading one, and I'm going to give it a class of banner over here. And I'm going to say that this is going to be pass your message or your app all right and then after that we're going to have a heading one which is going to be right after i'm going to say this is going to be a message and the message is going to be your delivered message here right so your delivered message here right so we have these two right now then we would want a input where we're going to be placing our text so I'm going to write input and I'm going to press tab. This is going to be text. Then we're going to have an ID and we're going to set this ID to text. Then we're going to have a placeholder over here. And the placeholder is going to be a message you would like to send. Message you would like to send. Send over here. So now that we're done with this input, we would want a button. So over here, I'm going to write, this is going to be button. And we're going to say, this is going to be type type over here. And we're going to say, this is going to be submit. Right, so over here, we're going to write, this is going to be submit, submit button. And over here, we're going to say that this is also going to have a ID of send ID. And we're going to write send. And then we're going to have a class and we're going to say this is going to be btn and here we're going to write press here to send right then we're going to copy this whole thing and we're going to say this this is going to be submit the id is going to be different this is going to be clear and then we're going to have again the class of btn and here this is what we're going to delete and we're going to say clear clear over here new message or here new message new and you can see that I'm struggling as always with typing message right once we're done with our HTML uh, let's go over here and let's check it out what we have all right so if I'm gonna refresh right over here you can see that pass your message app your delivered message here and this is the message right and press over here to send and clear right so obviously the buttons are working and with the CSS nothing is done right so Let's go back main CSS over here and we're going to start with the body and what we're going to say that this is going to be background color right and we're going to say this is going to be CED0 CE right then we're going to have a min height of 100 viewports over here and then we're going to say text align center right so now that we have this then we're going to create a banner over here so now we're targeting the banner and we're going to say font or your size and we're going to say 35 pixels right then we're going to have a text transform or here transform and we're going to say uppercase and once we have the uppercase we're going to say color and hashtag f15025 right once we have our color let's write a margin i'm going to say margin 25 pixels zero and 50 pixels and zero right and then we're going to have a for the message so over here we're going to write message we're like this and we're going to say this is going to be font 
size and we're going to say 40 pixels then we're going to have a text align we're going to say left then we're going to have a text transform so text transform and we're going to say that this is going to be capitalized here like this then we're going to have a background color and we're going to say that this is going to be a fff or here like this width is going to be 75 percent or here like this 75 percent then we're going to have a height and we're going to have 150 pixels over here then we're going to have a padding and we're going to say 20 pixels and 20 pixels or here like this and then we're going to have a margin and the margin is going to be 20 pixels auto and another 20 i'm sorry 40 40 pixels and auto over here and then we would need for the text and for the button classes right so we're going to go over here and we're going to say text and then we're going to say this is going to be font size over here and this is going to be 30 pixels then we're going to have a padding which is going to be 40 pixels and 20 pixels over here then we're going to have a width and the width is going to be 75 over here uh yeah because it's going to be exactly the same as for a up one right so this is going to be the, the width isn't going to be exactly the same i was just a little dumbfounded i was thinking maybe i'm doing something wrong margin auto over here let's delete this and display and we're going to say display block All right so once we have these two guys message and text let's create for the class for the button All right so btn and over here we're going to say this is going to be margin and the margin is going to be 40 pixels and then 10 pixels over here and padding is going to be 10 pixels and 15 15 pixels over here then we're going to have font size and we're going to say this is going to be 25 pixels and then we'll have a color and the color is going to be hashtag 191716 right and for the hovering we're just going to change the colors right so button and over here we're going to say hover hover over here like this and we're going to say this is going to be color and hashtag f15 one five zero two five right and then we'll have a background color over here and we're going to say this is going to be hashtag one nine one seven one six right so these are the rules so let's go ahead and let's check it out right so nothing over here and now you can see that we're done with our css right so now obviously we need a functionality right because this is not what we want and let's check it out over here you can see that the color didn't go through right this is gray all right so let's go over here and let's check it out i probably didn't add the color and the background color right so background color and we're going to use the f15025 all right so now that we're done with this let's make this one smaller over here and let's go to our script js and let's actually add a logic and once we are in our script js what we would want to do is first sign up a variables, right? So I assign variables. So here I'm just going to write the variables over here, variables. And then we're going to say this is going to be constant, right? And we're going to say this is going to be message over here like this. And then we're going to say document and we're going to use a query selector, right? So document because this is a class and it's just going to be easier if we do it this way, right? So query, query selector right and you can see that i could have just pressed q i have to do the same thing and over here we're going to say this is going to be a message this is going to be our class and then we need three um document get element by id so over here we're going to write text and we're going to write a document and get element by id over here and we're going to say over here that this is going to be equal to text and now we just need to copy and paste this so over here we're going to grab this whole thing and one two and this is what we're going to change to send and then it's going to be clear so send and over here we're going to say clear clear over here then the id is obviously needs to be the same so send and over here clear 
then once we have our variables assigned now obviously we'd want a click event right so we're here we're gonna write a click event over here and we're gonna go and we're gonna say send and we're gonna add event listener over here and then it says over here event and the event is gonna be click and now we obviously need to come up with a function right but I'm not gonna do a an animus function I'm actually gonna write over here deliver or here message right so this is quite a long name but it's gonna work for us right so function over here and we're gonna say that this is gonna be deliver message message and over here message over here like this and then we're gonna have a empty parentheses right the parameters are gonna be empty and we're gonna say let and over here let and this is gonna be text value right and what is this going to be equal to? This is going to be equal to text, right? So now we're grabbing the input box and we're saying value, right? So we're here. So now whatever we type in the input box, this is actually going to be stored in this uh, text value variable. And then we're going to say message and we're going to say in our HTML, right? Because now we want in that heading one, this should be the value, right? So once we press the button, the value should be transferred, text value. Right, so this is going to be the first one. Now, obviously, now we need a second, second event, right? So we can write over here, click event. And obviously, we wouldn't be doing this if this would be a much larger file. We just we can get away with this because this is tiny, right? So over here, we're going to write clear, and then we're going to say add event listener over here. And again, we have event, which is going to be the same. Click, but the function is going to be different, right? So let's just delete this. This was a little bit too much. And what we're going to write over here, we're going to say clear or here field. Right? This is going to be our function. Now let's go over here and let's close this one out. And let's have a clear function, clear field function. So function, function over here. And we're going to say that this is going to be clear field, clear field. Right. So once we have this again, parentheses empty. We're here, no parameters, and we're going to say very easy. We're going to say message, and inner HTML, and we're going to say that this is going to be equal to no value. Right. So empty value over here, and text value. We're also going to say this is going to be empty. Right. So text value over here. We're going to say this is also going to be empty. Now this is going to go back to default whatever placeholder we had. Right. But it's not going to have the text that we already typed, right? So once I save the script, let's go jump back over here. This is going to be our messages app, right? So let's refresh. And over here, what I'm going to write, I'm going to say that text will be delivered over here. All right? Something like this. Press over here. And you can see that something is not working, right? So this is a good time actually to go to inspect and see what is the problem, right? So we're going to go to console. Right, and over here you can see that I had event listener is undefined, right? Script 13, right? So let's check it out, right? And you can see over here that I didn't need document, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here, delete, and the same thing over here. This is a little bit too much, right? So it's just clear and add event listener. And send is also gonna have an add listener. And we're gonna go back, refresh, right? Press over here. You can see that now it's working. It just doesn't have any text. We can close a developer tools. And over here, we're going to say hello there. Uh, are you listening? Are you listening? Right? Send. Now we have it over here. Clear. We don't have anything. Right? And this is going to be it for this project.